because I was like, what? Me? Teach? I don't think so. I don't know. Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome back on my YouTube channel. Oh my god, it has been a long time. It has been ages since I filmed a new video and even uploaded a new video uh, on YouTube. My consistency has been like horrible, horrible consistency and I know that um, some of you who really, 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 really stay interested in what I show, what I say uh, are still here but I know I've lost some uh, subscribers and viewers but it's okay it's life and uh, uh, to be fair enough I think um, I was quite busy with the right stuff uh, to be honest so it's okay I forgive myself and I hope you guys forgive me too but it's... yeah in this video I am going to give a, a very brief uh, life update uh, as in what has been happening in my life like why I um, suddenly disappeared from uh, uh, YouTube and also from my Facebook page uh, I've been more active on Instagram and Snapchat as uh, some of you may know I moved to Goma yes I moved back to Goma Goma is in the DRC uh, and it's in the um, Kivu. Kivu is like the eastern part of Congo. If you don't know where Goma is, I will kindly suggest you to watch uh, my video. Um, one of my videos called um, called uh, five like five languages how or something like that. I will put the link down below or I'll try to put the link uh, somewhere here on my screen if I still know how to do it. Um, yeah, so I moved to Goma uh, and I've been here for like one week and two days. Yep, one week and two days. So that's one of the reasons, like that's the main reason why I wasn't really uh, able to, to, to film or to edit or whatsoever. And um, yeah, the new problem I have now in Goma, you have airplanes and helicopters like flying every it depends on the day. Today is like the first one that just flew and that you just heard. But well, helicopters and airplanes replaced my train problems. Yep. So I think it's about time for me to get like a microphone uh, to get a better sound. But that's the least of my problems. Now I'm really happy to even have my camera with me to even have good lighting. This is like the sun because um, the electricity just left me if I can say it like that so the, this is that I'm very happy to even have like this good lighting to have my camera that's working I have my ring lights but no electricity at home so I cannot use it but thanks God for the sun natural lighting basically so yeah saying I graduated in July and then um, I'm still like waiting to start my post postgraduate program but in the meantime, I'll be working as well. And thanks God, I found a job. Um, I am currently working in uh, an environment that I'm loving. Uh, although I didn't study the subject, I had a training, very good training, like short time, but really, really intense training that helped me prepare for the, for the job. Um, when I applied for the job, I applied to work in the administration because I studied business um, and I studied administration before in high school. So I wanted to do administration and it's in a school, like a new school, a brand new school that just opened this year. They started in September and it's here in Goma. It's called Kivu International School. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check it out because I believe that that's really a great project if you know me you know I love my country if you know me you know I'm all about my country's development educational development and innovation so I'm really really proud and happy to be working for them so yeah I was saying I applied for administration but when I came to visit the school the um, the um, the owner of the school basically the yeah the owner of the school 
um, told me that he loved my profile and that he would love me to teach at the school, like not to be um, the main teacher, but to assist um, uh, one of the teachers who's there. Um, so at first I was scared, of course I was scared because I was like, what, me, teach? I don't think so, I don't know how to teach, I don't know how to, um, I don't even remember if I know everything I learned back in high school, so what are you doing this to me? But he convinced me, he really uh, made me understand that he trusted me, that he really wanted to work with me and uh, um, that I wouldn't be scared because I wouldn't be like the main teacher, I would be an assistant, I would be assisting a teacher who has 20 years of um, of uh, experience uh, and uh, yeah and also like there is lots of things I do in the school but that's basically it so I'm working at a school called Kiev International School and I'm completely loving it I've been working there just for one week I know it's too soon to start like shouting yeah I love it but I really do the kids are amazing the project is amazing the school is beautiful and if you know me you know like um Career-wise, there are two things I want to do. I want to be an answer to someone's prayer and I also want to help my country. And um, at the school I'm working right now, I'm doing both. I'm helping kids, um, I'm helping parents, I'm helping uh, the project that is really still new and, uh, and I'm also helping my country. Can you believe it? I'm like working in the first... Um, uh, international school in Goma like in Kivu International School and I'm working there and I'm meeting great people like it's been crazy it's only been one week but I feel like I've been there forever and my colleagues they are really they're really amazing so everything is working very well with me and um, someone asked me um, why I decided to move from Europe to um, back to Congo and to be quite honest, I've never, like, how can I phrase it? When, although I was living in Europe and I'm really, I really um, bonded with the country I was living in, the countries I've lived in, although um, I've, okay, let me phrase it this way. So, someone asked me, yeah, why did you... Uh, leave Europe to go and to go back to Congo and that the only thing I can say is me in the long term has always been Congo although I, I, I was studying I was living in Europe studying there like work uh, as a student there I always knew that uh, at some point in my life I will have to go back home because that's where I belong because that's where I come from because um, to be quite honest the talents I have, the intelligence I have, the capacities that I have, you can find, like in London or Brussels, you can find tons of people with them. Like we all graduated with the same degree, we all study at the same place and we'll be all looking for the same jobs. So uh, for me, instead of just being one in a million, uh, back in London or in Brussels just working like everyone nine to to five jobs and on the other side I could go back to my country um, like be useful in my country basically that was that's the most important thing for me like to help my country it really 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 like my country is really in my heart and has always been in my heart and while I was studying I was telling myself that I am literally getting the knowledge needed for me to go uh, build my country so I don't mean by that that I am the savior of my country but I, as I always say you have to be the change you want to see in Congo we can't keep complaining that Congo is not doing well Congo is um poor Congo is economically not good the education level in Congo is not good we can't keep complaining and do nothing about it so I don't want to be um part of the complainers who don't act so instead I want to be the change uh, that I want to see in Congo so me coming here was the first move in uh, in uh, in the process the first move of the process basically so um, 
I think that's basically it. It's not easy. It's really not easy because everything, I don't, I don't have everything that was used to here. I lived in Congo before, but that was years back. Uh, that was like 15, almost 15 years ago. It's Everything is different. I am different. I grew up in a totally different mentality, environment. So for me to adapt here is really not easy. But if I could, like if I, I got used to London when I moved to London, I can get used to Congo. I can get used to anywhere. It's just me. It's up there. It has to happen up there. I have to be open to want to learn, to want to discover and to adapt to the country I am. I'm currently living with my, with my dad and um, my older brother lives here as well with his wife. They just got married in September so they live here as well and uh, I've met amazing people that helped me uh, so I'm not like stranded, no. I'm being helped, I'm being welcomed as I should be and I'm very happy about it and so far so good I don't regret anything and I don't really think that I will regret anything if things work out good for me I will praise God if they don't I will praise God and be and I will basically be on to the next one yeah you have to keep moving you have to keep uh, discovering yourself you have to keep doing something so yeah that was my life update I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, just to let you know, guys, I will be doing a question and answer um, video soon. I will welcome all questions in all languages, so French, Swahili, Lingala, English, and Dutch. And the video will be mixed. So if the question was asked in French, I will answer in French. If it was asked in Lingala, I will try to answer in Lingala. So to give it a bit of diversity. And um, I will see you guys very soon in a new video because now I'm ready to do it. I am ready. So thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have any questions, any comments, leave it. Leave them down below or um, you have my email, you have my social media pages. You go ahead. And thank you. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Yes, it was my birthday on October 25th. And... I felt love I felt um, I felt really grateful like every message I was reading everyone that was writing and I was calling I really I really 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 um, appreciate all of you and I ask for my God to bless you and to continue blessing you and uh, yeah see you in the next video